Kendall and McKenzie just 11 and 9 points away respectively from the milestone, but it wouldn't be easy for the Eagles as they're in a White House. Anthony Wayne fresh off that dramatic win. But don't forget, Toledo Christian ranked fourth in the state for division for first quarter. It's Emily Rosales for three. Toledo Christian with the lead. But Anthony Wayne starts to come back. Tatum Raider to Brooke Bender for the elbow jumper. Game tied at 20 in the second quarter. In the third, the home team begins to pull away. The inbounds pass to Elise Bender. Gets the hoop. Generals now up by three. Just over three minutes to play in the third quarter. Kendall Braden, the step back three. And there it is. The junior guard goes over 1,000 points for her career and brings her team within two points in the game. Nice moment. They stopped and recognized it, but the generals put this one away. Elise Bender showing off the range as well with the three. Anthony Wayne up by seven. Final minute, Royal Davis comes up with the steal, and she'll take that in for the lay and her 1,000th career point joining Big Sister Madison in the Milestone Club. But Anthony Wayne gets the win 59-41. Elise Bender, one of the stars of the night. They just had to get me the ball in the three point line. I was hot. You know, that doesn't happen every game, but when you are hot, I mean, that's what your teammates do. They get you the ball, so it's just a team effort there. I mean, definitely, I think our ball movement, sometimes we just hold the ball, but I mean, there's games where we're really good at it, and there's games that we're not. I mean, it's one of our struggles, but we're getting a lot better at it, so. With more from White House, we turn to Mason Lowry and Red Boyd. Well, we expected this one to come down to the wire, but thanks to a dominant fourth quarter from the Bender Twins, that didn't happen. No, it did not. And it started on the offensive end early in the third quarter. At least Bender really got it going, and that forced that little Christian defense to condense and collapse on her, and that opened up the perimeter. The ball boot for Anthony Wayne was exceptional, and Brooke Bender was the beneficiary, knocking down seven triples in this ballgame on her way to a game-high 25. But for Anthony Wayne, it was a job they did defensively mm -hmm. as well. They contained little Christian on the perimeter, we then were able to contest and make them take some tough shots, and they rebounded at a high clip. When you put that all together, Anthony Wayne was able to get that separation and come away with a big non-conference victory here at home against an outstanding opponent. I don't know what it is about this building in the last few days. Of course, on Friday, Anthony Wayne had the two walk-off wins against Springfield, and then tonight, in the second half of this game, we saw two players from Toledo Christian, Kendall Braden and Mackenzie Royal Davis, get to 1,000 career points. Shades of December 2020 when McWinney and Wensing did it in the same quarter for the Toledo Christian boys team. A really remarkable achievement, although I'm sure if you asked those two, they would have rather won the game. Oh, absolutely, and that's the competitor in them. But taking a step back and look at it, to be able to get 1,000 points, and they're not seniors yet, mm -hmm. is an outstanding. It's a testament to their ability, the hard work they put into it, and their teammates collectively as a whole. There are two outstanding players. They, let, they laid it on the floor. They left it all on the floor here tonight. It's a well-deserved accomplishment. Sure, they would like to win the game, but you know what? Getting 1,000 points, it's a close second. Hats off to both of these teams and these programs for being willing to schedule a game like this. You don't often see high-end non-conference games this close to the tournament. Yeah, and you give both, both teams a lot of credit for scheduling, not only scheduling the game, but to put it here. At the, at the end of January, 1st of February, because the tournament is just three weeks away, and you want a, you want a true litmus test on where you're at, you schedule a game like this. And now what these coaches can do, they can go back and look to see what went well, what you need to get better at, because both these teams have high aspirations when it comes to the state tournament. They can make deep runs, and a game like this will, will prepare you for that. Hats off to Braden and Royal Davis for both getting to 1,000 career points. They won the battle, maybe, but the Bender Twins and Anthony Wade won the war.